What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna help you build what I think is the best M4 for multiplayer and Modern Warfare 2. This build is so insane, I dropped over 101 kills in shipment and it absolutely shreds. Let's get into it. All right guys, so we got our loadout, we got the M4 and we're gonna go with the secondary for the P890, it's an excellent secondary, although you'll probably never use it. We got the stim for the tactical to help regen some life. We got a Semtex for lethal, although I really do like the thermite or the throwing knife is actually insane in multiplayer. For our perk package, we are going with Double Time, Scavenger for the ammo resupply, fast hands to swap and use our stuff faster, and then Quick Fix, so as we're killing players, we get that really, really sweet health regen, so that way we can stay alive as long as possible. Next in our field upgrade, we have the ammunitions box, which is just great if you run out of ammo, which you should, never should uh, for uh, with Scavenger, but this is mainly for your tacticals to get your stim and your Simtex back. Then for field upgrades too, guys, I went with Battle Rage, which is just really, really cool. You don't have to use a field upgrade as the second one at all. I just think it's really good added flavor to just kind of be aggressive as heck on the map. So we're gonna start with the barrel. Okay, we're gonna go with the high tower 20 inch barrel. This is the best one for that damage, bullet velocity, damage range, and recoils uh, control. Now to tune this sucker. Now, if you guys don't know, when you move these sliders, you get adjustments here, okay, to the green and to the red. So what we're gonna do is we wanna adjust these so we get the maximum bonus without getting two hard negatives at all. If you guys don't know, when you max one of these out, you take severe penalties on your guns. You don't really wanna max these out unless you're playing Warzone. So, because we got good bullet velocity and damage range, what we wanna do is have some recoil steadiness here because the gun without a sight, which is what we're using, the gun does tend to jump a lot, so we want as much as possible. So we're gonna increase this. And as you guys see, we get the bonus here on the green. And then, there we go. We start to take a decline, so about plus 32 there. We don't need any damage range in multiplayer, but we do want the aim down sight speed to have a little bit more of a snap. We wanna get onto our target as fast as possible. So same thing, we're gonna take this all the way down and get the maximum before we start seeing a decline, which is right there, so about plus 26. Next, guys, we got the muzzle. I have got a couple here that I really like to choose from, and that is the FTAC Castle the FTAC Castle Comp, as well as the X10 Havoc 90. Now, both of these things are gonna do the same. We want the horizontal and vertical recoil control, and but you know, both of these, you can just go for the aesthetic. I like the Castle Comp, so I just go with that one. Tuning this, we want, it already gives us vertical recoil, so we want aim down sight speed as much as possible, as much as we can get, which is about right there at plus 32. And then we need gun kick control because this with an iron sight without a sight tends to jump all over the place. So we want to move this up as much as we can get it. Mm, boom, at about plus 32. Onto the underbarrel, guys. Now this is a bit of a controversy. Uh, I really like the F-Tac, but I've been toying so much with the phase three grip. I really like the bonus that it gives you with the aiming idle and hip fire and recoil stabilization. So we're going with that. Into the tuning. Now we, I kind of go back and forth between aiming idle and aiming walking, but I like to have a little bit more aiming idle as you're just kind of sitting. So we just kind of bump that up to about plus 22. And then over here, we want as much ADS as possible before we get to finishing returns. So that is maxed out. Now, the only reason we're maxing this one out is because it doesn't change it too much. We want as much accuracy as possible. Next, moving on, we're not doing any ammunition, no magazine, we're going straight into the rear grip, guys. Now it's between two. The X10 grip is really, really good for that ADS and sprint to fire speed and the Phantom grip. Now we do get the added negative of flinch resistance with the Phantom grip, but if you have no issues with that, go with the Phantom grip and you're gonna tune it the same way. But I like the X10 because I don't want any flinching when I'm shooting. Okay, so in here, we're gonna tune the sucker up. We want as much ADS as we can get. Increase there. Move it back up here. Okay, so there we go. So we get about right there, 0.35 on that. And then we don't want the sprint to fire speed. We kind of want the aiming idle. So we're just gonna move that up slightly to about 0.20. Next guys, we got the stock. Now I have tested both of these, which is the Tempest PA strike stock and the demo D50 buffer tube. 
okay both of these are really really good if you're a speed demon and you're out of control go with the buffer tube but i really like the strike stock it's just more aesthetically pleasing to me and it, and it does the job for me personally tuning this sucker we don't want any walk down or aim walk steadiness we do want the ads speed as much as we can get without losing too much so we get about let me see here go back to zero we get about yep it's about right here so we get about 0 0.10 0 0.10 and then we don't want any aim walking speed i like the idle so we're just going to move this up slightly to about 0.55 and that will give us our stock tuning guys now i will say this if you don't like the iron sights for the m4 you can definitely swap out the grip for a sight i definitely recommend keeping the stock on there just for your to, so that way you can zoom across the map if you are going to go with the optic i do recommend the cronin mini pro it is the best sight in the game okay but this is the build guys let's hop right into some gameplay so you can see how this gun absolutely shreds all right we're getting in here we're getting in here baby chuck the Chuck it. Oh my god, we got one. Oh my god, almost got two. We want to snap to our targets. Reloading. Oh boy, we got a bunch in here. Got him. Got him, got him. All three down. Oh, four down. Quad kill. Move. Dead. Yikes. What the? Oh my god. He's just sitting back there with a trophy, bro? He's just sitting back there with a trophy? Where am I getting sniped from? Wow, this guy is on a he's on, he's on a whole nother level, man, with that sniper. Wait, what? 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 Got him. I can't see anything. Two down. Thank you. Oh my god. Ah! Stim. We're out of there. We're off the scene, baby. Got you. Got you. Got you. Oh no, I got sniped. I don't even know where I'm getting shot from. Bring it all. All right, this dude. Oh, he's got to die. This guy's got to die. Okay. Gotcha. Oh my god, they're on both sides. How are they spawning there like that? <laughs> Apparently I died. But oh, you missed your throwing knife. Let's go, dude. And that, guys, that right there is why the M4, this build, absolutely flexes the entire lobby. Let me know if you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to drop a like and comment below if you guys do enjoy the build. It really does help out the channel. And let me know if you're using this exact build, too, down in the comments, guys. As always, stay gaming. I'll catch everybody in the next one. Peace.